Good morning, listeners. This is Bernadette McDonald from What Is Your Real Name? Uh, affiliated with AACDQ.org. We are a group that deals with um, fi- finding family uh, that have been adopted and or um, people who are looking for our adoptees. So today we are joined by Liz and uh, she's going to start with um, her journey of how this all came about for herself. Welcome. Thank you. Good day. Good day. Uh, I was um, I was born with the name of Marie Gilbert Louise Auclair. Um, I was born on June third, nineteen fifty seven, and uh, seven days later, I was being adopted by or chosen by my adoptive family Mm -hmm. uh, June 10 uh, from the crash in Chikurimi. Okay. And a year later, I knew that because of the papers, a year later, uh, the adoptions were final. It took a year. So the information on the adoption papers was enough um, information for you to facilitate potentially finding your birth parents? You think it would be, but it was not at all, Mm -hmm. at all. Uh, It sends everybody around the world and back and nothing. Um, I always knew that I was adopted. Okay. I grew up knowing I was adopted. Um, Were you the only one within the family that was adopted or were there other adoptees within your adopted family? There was no one else, not even in the extended family. Like I, I had nobody else that was, that had been adopted. Okay. Uh, Three years later that I was born, my adoptive parents had a daughter. So I got the chance to grow up with a sister. Nice. Yes. Did you ever feel uh, the difference between you being adopted and her being biologically blood? Different. We were different, and uh, but I only felt um, this the, the, this urge of searching, of knowing, or when I was about. It was in my teenage that I really started to um, to look for something was out there. Was there a particular reason that made you start to look or was it just oh. I wake up one day and go, hmm, today's a good day? Yeah, yeah, t- <laughs> technically. I um, I requested my uh, my pa- my papers. Mm-hmm. Um, I had a so Where did you request them from? Oh, from the social services in Shikurimi. They suggested that I go there to okay. uh, make the request. I also had an aunt who, who suggests she was a social worker okay. and she suggested that I search for my mother, mm-hmm. my birth mother. And that way the ball be if she wants to know that I'm still alive because as you know, there was a lot of um, birth mother that their baby was taken away from them and then they thought it was dead because they put them to sleep to have their baby. So mm-hmm. they, they could tell them anything. Oh, exactly. You could tell them absolutely anything. Yes. So we didn't, I didn't know. So mm-hmm. I made the request for my papers, but that's only like later in life. It was in, after I had my children, 
you have no idea, or you probably do, um, how important those papers, that information is that belongs to you. Mm -hmm. It's very little. I got three pages. The first one was the letter that I received or that my parents received from the the crash from the nuns at the time. Okay. And it was saying that my mom had the brown hair, uh, five two, uh, brown eyes. You look at me, you say, well, maybe there's a chance maybe, I look a yeah. little bit like her. Yeah, so very uh, specific in in the uh, physical attributes. Yes, yes, and that she was not from uh, not from a farm. She came from the city. She okay. was a town girl. City girl. Yeah, city girl. And that my she didn't know the family, my dad's family. Okay. That uh, he was, for what they say, he was shorter than her. Mm -hmm. So I thought, oh, he must not be very tall. Um, green eyes or blue eyes and blonde hair. Well, I have a son who's green eyes and blonde hair. Mm -hmm. That's the only one. The others are like me. Yeah. So, you know, it always all those little things. And in the, in the paper for the, from the hospital, because I didn't have much. I was only there seven days. Uh, they, um, they wrote that I had blotches, red blotches on my body. So identifying and marks. My, yes. But when my my older son was born, he had the same thing. Oh, so it's genetic. It could have been, but yeah. I didn't know at the time. Yeah. So all those little all these little things that you get attached to that mm -hmm. you kind of like scratching saying oh my i had a big cry when i first got that information mm -hmm. so i hate to think what it's gonna be when i find my bio family yeah 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 it, i mean i i can only express how i felt when i met my biological father and uh there aren't enough words in this universe to, no. to explain it and it was for me anyway it was an immediate I mean I, w I was always told by my birth mother what my biological father looked like mm -hmm. found the man she had said was my biological father to come to find out no um yeah he he don't fit but the minute I saw my biological father it was mm -hmm. like I know yeah. I know yeah yeah these are these are almost uh, at the at the cell level well exactly yeah. and and the thing is you don't i don't think people really realize until the moment happens what mm. feelings it brings up inside you you know you it, it's like saying i know i would run into a burning house to help somebody mentally you know that but if it actually happened, how are you going to behave? How are you going to respond? Well, you know, and, and that's what I find so fascinating about so many different people's experiences, you know, and, and oh, yeah. for one may not work for another, you know, mm. but yeah, the, the, the f familiarity. Yeah. That's, that's a, a, a beautiful thing, especially when you always questioned or may have questioned certain things about yourself. Like, where did mm -hmm. I get those attributes? You know, is it my mother? Is it my father? Is it an aunt? You know, like. Mm -hmm. You don't know, but they're there. Exactly. They're all there. Just Latin waiting to to be known, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. But I had experienced that feeling with my son. He was born on my birthday. Oh, <gasps> lucky you. And, uh, the nurse sent him, like they sent him to the nursery. In the middle of the night, I woke up and I said, oh my God, my baby's crying. My baby's crying. The nurse said, just go back to bed. Yeah. I said, no, my baby is crying. Is crying. <laughs> yeah. And I went in the nursery and he was the only one. Wow, 
And, and, and truly, <laughs> truly, it was too far away for me to 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 hear that. Yeah. But I felt like it's in the he, heart. It, it's, he wants me. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's right in the heart. Where and how did you actually find out you were adopted? I always knew. Okay. My my mother, uh, we I grew up knowing. Uh, when I would meet, let's say we would meet someone, they'd say, "Oh, me and my sis, my sister and I," like they'd say, "Oh, this one is your biological daughter, and this one is the one you took." to raise like that mm -hmm. you're raising and she always said yes this one is the baby i choose right. this one's the one i yeah. had <laughs> yeah no choice in the matter can't yeah, well, return them well exactly well i tried to return my brother when i was because <laughs> if memory serves me right my mother promised me a sister and oh. she brought home a brother it was like, uh -uh, I ain't having Big nothing mistake. to that. <laughs> Big mistake. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Oh, um, were, were there any programs that were able to assist you back then that, you know, facilitated this? Every time I, first of all, I, w I went away from home i was 18 years old i went to university and then i never really went back mm -hmm. in terms of i went back visiting but not to stay mm -hmm. uh yes there was one program that was in in, in 19 around the in the 1990s 92 somewhere around there the uh, they had a uh, you had to pay okay First of all, to search, mm -hmm. they would do a search to see if your bio mother was alive. Mm -hmm. Then you pay again another, I can't remember, I know it was pretty expensive at the time I was a student, I didn't have the money. And uh, the second one was they would interview me, but because I was away, they interviewed me through the phone. Mm -hmm and uh, to see if there was similarities something i wanted to share with my biological mother should mm -hmm. they find her and things like that and then the third was the call to her asking her if she'd be willing to meet with me mm -hmm. and at the time the social worker felt that her no was very weak which is was not at the time she said, "Not, it's not a good time she for wasn't now." Wasn't ready. Yeah. So she left my file open, but regularly they would close the file and then never talk about it again. Mm -hmm. So she left it open, and of course it kind of generated hope. Mm -hmm. Like I was hoping that maybe one day she'll change her mind. I was seeing my children growing up, and I was saying. She's missing all these beautiful times. Exactly. But c'est la vie, and you just go on. Mm -hmm. And uh, what other methods? Well, I before that, I had sent uh, in the newspaper little ad. There was a program in Progrès Dimanche in Chicoutimi where uh, the people looking for their biological families would be able to add, put in the no paper ads. there and is that still available but, to this day do you know i don't think so okay i don't know i honestly don't know but i don't think so i also in 2010 i reached out to a podcast which was uh loin des yeux près du coeur i did that it was over the phone uh searching again Mm -hmm. And uh, there was a TV show with Claire Lamarche. I don't know if you heard about it in Quebec. I think it's still, maybe not. Anyways, but I didn't qualify because I didn't have enough information. They oh, couldn't. Was it a show that was pertaining to the orphanage itself and adoptions or adoptions out of Quebec? It was adoption out of Quebec, but it was like, 
mostly people looking for people. Yeah. Uh, like a father or, uh, but you had to know their name, their yeah. real name, and they were doing And that's search. a blessing to have a name. Yes, that, that yeah. is. And uh, they were searching uh, little things like that that I didn't have. Yeah. So they said that I didn't qualify for that. I was disappointed, of course, but absolutely. Again, what can you do? Um, that's about all the help. Oh, yeah, that's about all that. Hey, have you have you found over the years that technology and tools? have gotten better or just a little more confusing slowly as you as you can see uh things started to uh talk about dna mm -hmm. and dna was a big thing like uh like out of this world yeah it was i don't know to me it was not reachable but now it is and in 2018, I finally jumped. <laughs> I finally jumped to. Well, take that the was test. the year I jumped too. So, <laughs> see, we don't we don't really know how the test goes about. Yeah. So at first it was like, oh, how am I gonna take a blood test somewhere? Or another thing that I found out that belonged to me was that I'm O negative. And oh, not too many people are O negative. So then again, I was all proud, right? <laughs> oh, I got something. I got a rare blood. <laughs> Anyways, DNA testing, uh, waiting for the results was almost around Christmas time. And then I kind of screwed a little bit and I see my family name, my adoptive family name. And I thought, oh, maybe, just maybe. So I called my sister and I said, guess what? I think we're related. She said, what? <laughs> I'm telling you, I think we are. Yeah. If you want to do the test. And I explained to her how the test was. And she said, oh yeah, I'll do it. Mm -hmm. No, no problem. So send her the test. She did the test. And fair enough, she is related to me. Oh. So we said, okay, oh, let's world. see if dad is your dad. <laughs> Yeah, okay. yeah, let, let, let's go in mind too. Who, who knows? <laughs> so <laughs> the search continue. Yeah. My dad did the test, of course. He was he was willing to do that. And uh, he was not as close to me that my sister was. Okay. Meaning she's got both related something there that we don't know yet. Okay. So yeah, so, so she's I started putting all the pieces together, trying to see where yeah. they all fit. Just like a puzzle. Wonderful. Uh, I did all pretty much all of the trees of the people that had the highest uh, CM with me. Mm -hmm. And uh, not knowing what I was doing, really, mm -hmm. truly. It's, it's, <laughs> it's just, all trial and, and error. Taking, yeah. Yes, and taking a bit here, a bit there, somebody would tell you something and then you, you know, you kind of cling and you say, oh, I want to know. I remember one one day in one of those social places, they were saying, oh, no, not another one of those. And I thought, okay, yeah. delete. Yeah. I'm not going to, you know, I don't. Well, there are, it's, it's there's so many things that positive. can be positive that you don't you don't need to venture down the the negative road. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> so that didn't that was not too helpful. Uh, yeah, finally got hold of AACDQ and then downloaded some learn how to download my data to thanks to Gus for that. Mm -hmm. And then discuss. He was my he's one of my highest cousin. Wow. And uh, yeah, and just knowing that you have this little circle of family that opens up, and then you are related to somebody exactly. is really, really. And knowing that I was related to my own 
was like, oh, watch out. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna try to find out who that is. Yeah. And so I got assigned after a few weeks I applied and, and followed the the rules that you know, what you have to do. Hoping I send all the information that I have received way back and now mm -hmm. what I have done. I was almost there, but I didn't know how to put things together, really. Mm -hmm. So, thanks to my angel, she put things together, and one day she comes up, she says, I think this is your mother. And I thought, like, oh, yeah. So, I would have... Uh, brothers and half brothers half sisters or or mm -hmm. full brother and sister we don't know so what we did is we sent an email and we reached out mm -hmm. that's what we did and uh some were like is this a joke they yeah. were like septic others were saying oh my i can't imagine waiting for 30 40 some years to exactly. find out who my mom is Mm -hmm. So some were receptive, and those people agreed to take a DNA test. You were lucky. I'm really grateful yeah. that they do. They did. And right now we're waiting for the final answer to see if whether she is or not. And it, it is understandable that if it's not, we'll, we'll continue. hopefully continue. Yeah. But right now, there's pretty good chances. I look like You're a mom. lot like my half sisters or full sisters. Yeah, so our, our genes in, in the Leduc family are, are very prominent. Blood yeah. is very strong. Yeah. So, have you ever yeah. found your biological father? No, oh, has still there searching ever been for him. Too? Pardon? Has there ever been an interest to, or is it more so your story of... I'm open to mom? my whole family, like I'm open to all that. Mm -hmm. And uh, with the uh, the new law, the 130... What's, what's uh, the new law? The law, the, the law in Quebec to be able to search to get the name of your mother father whoever they know mm -hmm. my, my brothers my sisters only if they're deceased okay so and i think it would be revealed only if my mother was deceased as well okay they would give me her name and i don't find this very again positive because you have this chance of meeting with the person who carried and gave you life, and yet you can only know her name once yeah. she's dead. So it's yeah. very difficult. Do you know if but there yes. was ever a veto placed on um, the the adoption agreement? If that if the parent passes, does that veto still stand? or is it non-void then do you know it you're allowed to know who they are okay so their name becomes it's only their name yeah it voids the veto i guess if she said that she didn't want to meet with me or anything like that okay i, yeah, I, I was just too. curious as to yeah no it's, you know how that comes around right? a good question yeah. yeah yeah no i'm entitled to know her name at that point Wonderful. But then again, what is the name? I feel when I was doing my search with the DNA search, I felt like I was related to the whole world. It's amazing how everybody in that area, because I'm from Lac Saint Jean, are related to each other. <laughs> Any which way you look, <laughs> I, I so. can imagine. I mean, I I walk down the street and I'll see the silhouette of somebody who looks like me and it's like oh no it's not no it's not that's, right that's one thing though 
when I grew up, I was looking for features like that, but I never really found out or find someone that would look like me. I would, I, I didn't, neither in my friends or anything like that. I had people throughout my whole life calling me and saying, and these are friends that lived in Ottawa, per se. Okay. And, and would call me and say, oh, you're so mean, you didn't even say hello. And I go, what? Oh. The, well, we saw you across the street and we were yelling at you and you looked right at us, but you didn't say nothing. And I said, well, I hate to break it to you, but I haven't been to Ottawa in a little while. And next time you run across somebody like that, could you do me Stop a her. Go and introduce yourself and Stop her. possibly get a name. <laughs> Yeah, and a phone number. Exactly, exactly. So, yes. yeah, there, there's there been a few times when I, I've got those unpleasant phone calls and, you know, friends are being upset because I'm not acknowledging them, right? And it's like, well, yeah. I have vision problems. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. So was there anything else that you felt that would be important for our listeners to to pay mind to? Never give up. Never give up. It's the right. It's the yeah. right to know. It's uh, it's within. Mm -hmm. it comes from within and it goes within. And yeah, I see. I see. Sometimes I read the people that are like giving up or mm -hmm. negative or. There's no need. Mm -hmm. These are all external tools that can that can be useful, and you never know. You never know what may come up. Exactly. Exactly. Because yeah, as the science advances, as the more people uh, taking the test, and the more you talk about it, I know all my family knows I was adopted. So. Yeah. They're going to be surprised. All my family knows I have a twin. They, they all know that. So it, it, it's not like going to be a, an open Pandora's box. Like it's not going to be no. a surprise to anybody. What will be a surprise is after all this time finding her. And thank you for doing all this work because it may help, you know, you never know. I'm, I'm hoping it helps everybody. Yes. I mean, sure it will. You know, and, and especially those who have given up on looking for whatever their reason might be. Yeah. It's, it's as simple as, you know what, never give up. Yes, you may need a break and step away from it for a little bit. Regather your thoughts, you know, reread some some things that you have been given. Yes. Um, when you come up with a different perception of something, sometimes it triggers something else. You know, yeah. technology is always changing. People are always talking and ev eventually it gets out there. And society changes. Exactly. Thanks, thanks to everyone, all these women that gave birth and had to see their children. I, I can't even fathom that thought. I can't, I can't. But at or, the time it was, it was the, 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 the common. The, Yes, it yeah. was. You know, I, uh, to, to imagine to knowing that you're having a child, you go to sleep and you wake up to be told that they have died. And then years later, potentially getting a phone call saying, hey, I think you're my Guess mother. What? <sighs> what a shock. Like, I, I, I can't even fathom it. Mm -hmm. You know? Yeah. I, as exhilarating and, in some ways as it would be, as, as detrimental it would be to know that you've had all those years. Even the society, you know, what, what, what they're missing and what they're, it's almost like a crush of a society because mm -hmm. all these babies that were um, sent away mm -hmm. could have been helpful for maybe uh, helping with the language and helping with what they need other people to do. Exactly, it's, exactly. We can't change the, the past, but we can surely make the, the present better. The future better. a little better. 
future yet. Exactly, exactly. Yes. Well, it's been an absolute pleasure chatting with you. Pleasure and, too. Uh, you know, here's here's hoping we have some perky ears and maybe some people having aha moments and you know. Yes. And to all the people out there, never give up. Yes, exactly. So don't forget to like share and subscribe that's right and uh looking forward to potentially seeing you uh next year at the, the big happening event in yes Canada. what i'm afraid is like my surround like it's gonna grow and i'm probably gonna fill up the whole room it's anyways explode. It's right now there's three of us going so yes wonderful wonderful yes. well there's two of us from this end you know hopefully by then there'll yes. be you know a twin in there but yes we'll i'm see, hoping right? my adoptive dad will be there yeah he's he's getting out there but still 93 it's but all I'm family he'll be there exactly it is, it is. so have a wonderful it's... day and yes have a nice day thank you we'll see you later Bye.